Um, I've had a lot of people ask me how do you make soap and you know I've been doing this for a little while and I know I find all the YouTube videos that are out there pretty inspirational so this is kind of an experiment. Um, never really made a video before so bear with me. <laughs> but this is uh, the first batch of soap that I've made in months. Um, so a lot of you know that I recently had a little change in my life. I've moved. Um, things were kind of scattered everywhere and that kind of just made it hard to get in the soaping mood along with just, you know, everything else. Uh, but now I'm in my new place. I'm pretty well settled. I actually have a soaping room so like everything's stored in one spot now and it's pretty darn awesome. But so I got inspired to make some soap. Um, a little while ago I asked you guys about whether or not I should join that Soap Crafters Club. And you all gave me like a resounding yes, yes. So I did and this is actually the soap from the very first kit, from the very first shipment, I should say, for that club. Uh, one of seven. So along with the recipe and the oils and the scent and everything else for it, I got a new mold. So yay, get to use a new mold. Um, so here we go. I did adjust, I, I do adjust it a little bit to make it my own because I do put still in my silk and my clay and actually I'm going to start adding colloidal oats and my milks. So all of those are going to go into the soap even though it's technically not in the recipe. Uh, so we're going to start. So right now I am putting my clay and my oats in my oils. And I'm going to mix those up quite a bit. Got to get them nice and incorporated before I do anything else. My lye has my silk in it already. I'm soaping pretty cool today. I mean, I do tend to try to do room temp, um, room temp soaps so that it doesn't go crazy fast on me. Um, but these oils were all room temp already because I didn't have to melt any of them. There's only olive oil and sweet almond oil in it. Um, the lye, and it's been sitting for a little while, so it got pretty cool too. Um, so sometimes that, even though it's supposed to slow it down for me, for some reason I see it go faster. But I also use discounted water. I don't put as much water in my soap as it calls for. Um, so it kind of got thick already. It's already tracing, which is fine because for this soap, we're not doing anything fancy schmancy with it. But I'm now going to add my milk and my cream, all my milks, I should say, lots of milk. I use a blend of coconut milk, goat milk, and buttermilk, and heavy cream. And I think it makes a really nice soap. And this 
So, based on the oils that are in it, there's no coconut oil or anything in it, um, is going to be a very gentle soap. Um, probably going to take forever to harden up, but um, it's going to be a really nice soap. I think it would be a great facial soap. I'm kind of looking forward to trying that. Um, so, it'll be interesting. This all mixed in. It's got really thick already. Yeah, this one's going pretty fast on me. So I might, I don't think I'm going to be stick blending too much. Oops, drop the stuff. fast on me because I still have a few things I want to put in. But I'm trying, I gotta get this milk incorporated. You know what I'm gonna do? Um, we're gonna put in a set and we're gonna put in the calendula. Uh, this recipe, the almond oil is infused with calendula, so calendula has anti-inflammatory and healing properties. Um, I actually use that in another one of my soaps too. So there's already some nice properties in this along with everything else I've just dumped in. And now I'm going to dump in some calendula petals. <laughs> this is pretty thick. And I'm going to put in some lemon, lemongrass, sorry, essential oil. This smell, it's sitting here in front of me and smells absolutely spectacular. This is going to be one luscious smelling soap. And this actually ought to help thin it out just a bit. iPad charger. It's really important, you know. Alright, let's see if we can get a little bit. The stick blender is going to chop up those petals just a little bit too. I like the look of chopped up petals versus whole petals. That's just me. Other people may not. I'm just going to give it a little bit more. <laughs> But it's okay that this got this thick. Like I said, not doing anything special to it, not coloring it, not swirling it. You know, if I were to want to do all these fancy, fancy things with it, then I would definitely want to keep it thinner than this. This is pretty thick. But again, that's fine. That's completely fine. Actually, we're better off thick with this one. You don't want to pour it too thin. Plus, the calendula wouldn't suspend very well if it were thin. So, and again, got my new mold. recipe is probably going to make a little bit too much from what I've gathered. This, uh, these kits I get are pretty neat because it's actually set up as a class and um, so there's a website everybody can log on to to get hints and tips, um, you know, especially for people who haven't made soap before because um, it's not something you have to just jump into and do without doing your research and looking up safety and whatnot. Um, Oh, 
little bit more on it. Because like I said, I have a lot extra. I might have some samples for y'all. A couple for myself, of course. He. Best part of soap making. I will never run out of soap again. Um, anyway, yeah, they set up his classes, so there's like a website you can go to, and um, it's like a form, almost, and uh, so people post pictures of the soap they've made, again, uh, the, the owner of the company that does this uh, uh, posts videos on how to do it, and question and answers, Now the last but not least, so that's it, it's in the mold, um, already doing its thing, um, putting some calendula on top. It's really awesome herb, awesome botanical to use. And I'm just pressing them in so they don't go flying the next time I pick this up. Um, and you know, when you use it, they will wash down the drain. And no big deal. But it makes a really pretty looking soap. Piece of paper towel. Clean that off. And there you have it. We have the Clodula Cleansing Bar. I'm probably going to rename it, but I'm not sure to what yet. But, here we go. Hope you all enjoyed all of that. And maybe this will be the first of many videos. Who knows? I will see you all later. Bye!